Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to explain and demonstrate how to resolve these AMP issues that you might have received a notice about from Google, like I did. You can see here, Google search, search console, AMP issues detected in blah, 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 in my case, my site, malformed URL, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you click the link and it takes you over to this page, which you can see I've been ignoring. Uh, there's a bunch of pages here that I just didn't understand why they were being a problem and I thought, well, that's AMP. So what I will do is I will wait for patches to come out from my theme and from my AMP utility and it'll get fixed. And apparently that worked with some because I didn't change anything here. Didn't solve the overall issue though, which is I've still got 75, 77 pages here that are blown up. Why is that? Uh, what you can do first is you can click on the link that it gives you and you can see I've got a lot of pages here and you can see uh, what it doesn't like is something in here it's highlighted right and you don't really know what it is unless you look a little bit more carefully and you see here at the top the tag file is disallowed and that's because I've got file in here so then you go off to your web page you dig to your web page and you try to find it so I'll show you that very quickly but that isn't my problem go down here launch in a separate tab and then I'm going to go to edit post and because I'm using the new editor, I'm going to change to HTML so I can find that entry. So I'll click the dots in the top right hand corner and down to code editor. And then I'm going to do a control F for find. And like I said, this isn't going to work. So I'm just explaining that this is a logical thing for you to do. And you might actually need to do it for your particular problem, but it isn't my particular problem. So I'm looking for file and yeah, I don't see it because it says here, the tag file is disallowed and I'm right in the HTML. It should be here. So anyway, it's not. Exit the code editor, I'll get out of it. Suffice it to say that after playing with this, I verified it wasn't there. And then I decided to look through a bunch of these and I found that in fact, it's the same error on a lot of them. File, the tag file is disallowed. You might start out going to amp.dev and then into their AMP validation errors. And that's one way to go, but it's still pretty tedious. This really doesn't help a lot, but for you it might. So again, just take a look at that and consider it. The next thing to do is go to the AMP validator. So just Google AMP, val or AMP validator, and you can put your address in here, but this goes to Google. Don't want to use that one. Go to the AMP validator up here, click back on your error page here, and let's copy well, let's copy this page. I'm going to click this copy link and I'll go to the top here and I paste it in. It'll give me a bit more information usually. Hopefully it does this time. Let's click validate. Okay, so at least this tells us where it is. Line one, column 45,538. Wow, that's way down. And that tag is just not allowed. Okay. So usually this gives you more information, just not always. So in my case, what I decided to do was grab that URL and go look at it. Because if it's not in the HTML, where is it? Uh, I can't find it here. If I look through here, the word you know, bracket file just isn't there. And as I scroll down, I found it in related posts, specifically this one. We couldn't open bracket file. Oh, that's just the snippet. So it's actually in a different article altogether. Let's go see if that's the same in all of these. So I'll go back to, well, it doesn't make much difference which one. I'll click on this one. Just make sure it's the same error message. It is. And then I'll copy that URL. I'll paste it in. And looking through here, I can tell you the word bracket file is not here. But scroll down, related posts again. So the actual problem is with my related posts which no wonder why it's showing up all over the place, because a lot of the content on your tech is technical. And in this case, a lot of it's Office 365 related, which makes it a related post. So what I can do is I can, in my case, I just have to go into this page. I have to get rid of that bracket file. That's HTML. I should have known better. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm going to go to edit post, get rid of the bracket. There we go. And I'll just set that to an italic. There we go. I'm going to update this. And bingo, in my case, that's going to fix it. If I go back to the AMP error page and I say validate fix, 
Now I cut out some time here because you've got better things to do and you can see it still come up with the same problem. Why is that? Well, because it's using its old data. It actually hasn't gone to my site. So let's go back here where I'm on the home page, and if I click on this link again, it still finds it, even though it's not there. Why is that? Well, because it's using a cache copy. So I have to wait a bit for this to be cleared, but this is going to work. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big fat thumbs up. Subscribe's always appreciated as well. Super helpful with the Google algorithm, and you can always get a hold of us here at urtech.ca. Urtech.ca. We've got a lot of this kind of content. Thanks for your time and have a great day. Bye-bye.